Hey everyone, so today we are going to be doing a non-pro tutorial on this type of card layout. I'm sure you've seen this card floating around on Pinterest and it was heavily inspired by this so I have the creators at in the credits and I did change a few things around as I'm pretty sure that this was made with more than 50 elements which is the new limit for non-pro users as well as some of the images that they use in this card I wasn't able to find like I'm pretty sure these at the bottom are images because that's like not an element in card if that makes sense and also the person who requested it asked that I use images from card captor Sakura which is a TV show I'm pretty sure I personally never watched it but I think the theme turned out really cute so I have all the pictures in the Google Doc as well as screenshots of what the layout should look like before you publish it so the Google Doc is quite lengthy for that reason but obviously you can use whatever theme you want if you want to do the blue hour txt theme i think that that is super cute i love txt and i love blue hour so but yeah sorry about the kind of lengthy intro i've i've been blabbering but we're just gonna go ahead and get started it's a lot simpler than it looks
I'm going to really quickly try to explain how the timer works. I myself sometimes get a little confused, but basically for this timer, it's gonna be a countdown. So like counting down until a certain date and you're gonna put the date that you're counting down until here, it automates to a random date. And then for the time, it's usually if you're counting down to a date, there's not like a specific time. So you can honestly just put like, zero 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 as i'm pretty sure that's like in military time that's like 12 a.m um so then it's just whenever the day begins that's when the countdown starts and then you're going to want to choose like whatever time zone you're in i could not find my time zone so i'm just going to put canada even though i'm not in canada but that's basically how that works this is also optional i think it's cute but obviously i couldn't think of anything i'm counting down till so and also really quickly for these little icons obviously if you have different social media if you want to link you won't use these exact ones but it was so easy to find these on pinterest it's really easy to search pixel icon social media and you will find so many like i found some for facebook pinterest but these are just the ones i ended up choosing as well as for these images if you want different images you could just search pixel icon png and there are so many that come up but if you want to use these images, I've included them in the doc as well. I'm not doing this just for the sake of the tutorial and to save time, but whatever social you want to link, you're going to replace the link URL with the link to your social here. And then you can delete the caption if you want, since the captions are removed for this gallery, they won't show up either way, regardless if there's a caption there or not.
Alrighty, and here's what your final product should look like. As usual, if you need any help or have any questions, please let me know down below. Thank you guys so, so, so much for watching. I really appreciate all the recent support I've been getting, and I'll see you all in the next tutorial. Bye-bye.